Hello friends. You asked it, we make it. Another comparison of two new tractors, both strong and huge. If you like our comparison then share, like this video and also subscribe. So, from one side we have the beautiful black edition of John Deere 8R410 which is the largest tractor of 8R series, in a comparison with the also beautiful huge Fent 942 Vario, which is the largest model of 900 series of Fent. Both are compete each other on the same gross level. So let's compare them and see what should you choose. The Deere wears the engine of John Deere Powertech PSS of 9 liters and 6 cylinders, Fent from the other side wears the man engine of 9 liters and 6 cylinders also, so both tractors have the same size of engine, you want man or deer engine? Make a comment. As about the power, the deer's gross power is on 410 horses and it can be boosted on 458 horses of max power, Fent from the other side is a little lower, at 415 horses of standard max slash boosted power. So both tractors have about the same gross power but the deer can be boosted on higher max power, so the deer has an advantage here. The PTO claimed of the deer is at 310 horsepower, fence is higher at 341 horses, so the fent has the advantage on PTO claimed. The PTO tested of the deer is on 384 horses and 71 liters of fuel use per hour, fence is lower at 371 horses and 69 liters fuel use per hour, so the deer has more powerful PTO tested but fent is more economical on fuel. The power of rated PTO speed is the same for both tractors at 369 horses with Deere max fuel use at 70 liters per hour and Fent lower, at 68 liters per hour, so the Fent has the advantage here as it is more economical on the same horsepower. The drawbar tested of the Deere is at 330 horses with 72 liters fuel use per hour and a max pull at 13,810 kilograms and it can touch the 16,441 kilograms with tracks on his RX. Fence is lower at 318 horsepower with 70 liters fuel use per hour also and a max pull at 13,338 kilograms, so here the deer has the advantage as it is more powerful on drawbar with nearly the same fuel use, both tractors have about the same max pull, but the deer can go higher as RX, the max torque of the deer is at 1,851 newton meters at 1,600 revolutions per minute, fence from the other side is higher on 1970 newton meters at 1550 revolutions per minute so the fed has clearly the advantage on the torque as it touches much higher torque on lower revolutions per minute the deer's max rear hitch capacity is at 9072 kilograms standard lift and 12124 kilograms optional the front lift is at 5200 kilograms Fence is about the same with rear hitch at 12,410 kg and a front hitch a little higher at 5,584 kg, so both tractors can lift about the same, with Fent coming first. The top speed of the deer is at 40 to 50 km per hour on 2,100 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed and full power shift with efficiency manager transmission, the max fuel tank capacity is at 727 liters. Fent from the other side is faster with top speed on 50 to 60 km per hour on 1700 revolutions per minute of rated engine speed and a 300 Vario transmission and a max tank capacity at 625 liters, so the Fent here has clearly another advantage on the deer as it is faster on lower revolutions per minute and a more economical fuel tank. So we saw the performance, let's now compare the size of these two monsters. The shipping weight of the deer is at 12,610 kg with wheels and it can touch the 18,000 to 19,504 kg on RX edition with tracks, and a max permissible weight at 24,000 kg as RX, Fent from the other side is lighter, at 11,780 kg and a max permissible weight at 20,000 kg, so the deer is heavier on general level wheel door RX edition. The wheelbase of the deer is at 3 meters and 5 centimeters wheeled, and 3 meters, and 23 centimeters as RX edition, fence is at 3 meters and 15 centimeters. The max length of the deer is at 6 meters and 63 centimeters, fence is smaller at 5 meters and 57 centimeters. The width of the deer is at 2 meters and 79 centimeters, fence is about the same at 2 meters and 75 centimeters, the deer can touch the 3 meters and 48 centimeters with full extended tracks. The height of the cub of the deer is at 3 meters and 53 centimeters and it can touch the 3 meters and 73 centimeters as RX edition. Fend is shorter at 3 meters and 42 centimeters. So, as a conclusion, the Fend Vario has higher PTO claimed, more economical on all levels, higher torque on lower RPM, a little higher rear and front hitch capacity, faster on roads with more economical tank. Deer from the other side has much higher boosted power, higher PTO tested power, stronger drawbar tested, higher max pull, 
it is heavier wheel door RX, with more permissible weight, and larger on width, height and length. So guys, would you choose a tractor smaller in size, faster and more economical as Fent 942 Vario? Or a larger tractor on size, stronger with more power as the R8 410? Wait in your comments, subscribe us for more videos, until next time, see you.